John Piper is a man who loves to work on something bigger than himself. And for 30 years, John did exactly that with Capital Community Television and CCTV's executive director, Alan Bouchon, sharing thousands of hours of school-related programming to cable TV viewers in the Salem-Kaiser area, much of it involving high school athletics. I was working for the Salem-Kaiser School District at that time in the communications office and was assigned to be the liaison with the new Capital Community Television. And Alan Bushong, of course, was hired as the first executive director, and he asked me to meet with him, and he talked about some of the ideas he had, and I thought, well, these are great ideas to get students and staff on uh, local television. So that's how it all started. And I've always liked sports. I've always liked television. So when the opportunity came up to announce games, I thought, this is great, I'll do that. And uh, it worked out pretty well. John took on his important role after a brief meeting with Bouchong about televising high school sports. It was the beginning of a three decades long partnership that has delighted local residents from start to finish. John's role with CCTV evolved over the years. He initially served as the school district's liaison with CCTV but more and more became the face of CCTV broadcasting. John has volunteered thousands of hours doing things such as post-production editing and promotion of events. But John is probably best known as the unofficial play-by-play -play announcer or analyst as needed for various sporting events. His attention to detail and pride in doing a job well was key in making CCTV's programs a success. The final product always reflected the pride that John ejected into his work. Well, I think the most thing is that high school sports are fun. And uh, I enjoy watching the kids, and I enjoy the coaches, I enjoy the parents, enjoy the pep bands, the cheerleaders, everything that goes with high school athletics. So it was just a fun activity for me. Uh, I was a volunteer, so it was not a money maker for me. But uh, when you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself, you keep doing it. In addition to high school sports, John has also announced hundreds of basketball games for Willamette and Corbin Universities and Chemeketa Community College. John's efforts didn't stop there. He also added more than 200 programs to the CCTV library by producing the projects for his classic sports series, which showcased the best games from the CCTV archive. Well, I was always interested in showing or re-showing some of the best games in our archives. Uh, we started in, I believe it was 1990, and so I went through the archives and uh, looked for the ones that I remembered as the best games. And I thought people would be interested in seeing these again. Classic sports is quite common on uh, ESPN and some of the other networks. And I thought local people would be interested in seeing their students or their children or somebody they knew in a game that they might remember. These days, John still volunteers with CCTV and is also a weekend fixture at South Salem High, which is located near his home. You might see him lugging around containers of freshly raked leaves, just helping out like he always does. John Piper has contributed much to the sports history of Salem-Kaiser and has established a durable legacy. John Piper is our community and is most certainly a beacon. <laughs>